Coming up next, he had a 10-pound differential coming into the day from the knockout round. He started with 16 pounds, 4 ounces. Today, he had the big bag on championship day with 19 pounds, 2 ounces. Grand total of 35 pounds, 6 ounces, and Berkeley Big Bass at 4, 10. Let's bring up your winner, Keith Poche! Keith, good to see you. It's been a long time coming. A lot of hard work, dedication to get it done. A lot of people are looking at the aluminum boat and saying, man, but a lot of people here, we're looking at it, goes, man, he really does have a chance here. I tell you, Lurch, uh, I, you know, words can't explain how I feel right now. And, and, and to, to get this win after th these many years, I mean, we worked so hard to get here. And, you know, to fish against so, such great anglers, you know, Dakota, Ott, Justin, I mean, I go down the list. I mean, they're, they're great fishermen and come out on top and, and do it my way. Do it like I, how, how I like to fish out of my little Gator Tracks boat. You guys need to check them out. They have the most awesome aluminum boat on the market. Powered by a Mercury 115. To go out and do it my way, the way I like to fish, my off the grid style. I mean, I don't know if y'all seen my YouTube series. I do a lot of crazy stuff, so out of this, this Gator Track. So, but I have fun, Lurch. I'm having fun. And so many years, I, I, I've kind of fought that. And, you know, I finally come into myself and I'm, I'm, I'm having fun doing what I like to do. And I'm just fishing, man. And, and the words can't explain my day today I, it, it just you just cannot explain it to have a day like this to beat to beat these guys these fabulous anglers i mean they're just they're the top of the top i mean wheeler i mean these guys win everything and it was just my week and i'm, I'm just so thankful and i i gotta thank my wife for coming my kids they're, they're here to support me and, and and that's what it's all about having the support uh from everybody you know the folks at pier fishing i i, I can't thank them enough for for giving me a chance to, to believing in me for and and, and uh, you know, Fenwick, Abu Garcia, Berkeley, and I can go down the list, uh, Amer American Sport Fish. These guys have been by my side for many years, and I, I just thank everybody for being here, and it's just been a, a special moment for me, and I, I don't know what to say, bro. You know, let, let's uh, rewind back to the knockout round. Uh, you find yourself 13, uh, third place, uh, 14, excuse me, 10 ounces behind. I'm trying to do all the math in my head. Did you know you had a, a, a solid chance at getting the championship here today? You know, you know, going from Douglas to here, I, I, I focused all my time on Douglas because I, I felt like if I got to the knockout round, if I got to Cherokee, I, I, I've been to this lake before. I've been up the river, and I, I knew I know what lives up there. And I, and I told my wife, I told everybody, I'm like, all my buddies, like, let me get to Cherokee and let's see what's gonna happen because I have a chance. I know, I know, I have a chance, and I didn't even practice because I know, I know, not many people can go up there. It, it's an off the grid kind of deal, and um, so I just went fishing today, over the past two days, and uh, had a decent first day. I missed a couple, lost a couple good ones that I felt like you know uh, would have helped me yesterday. But uh, but that but that being in the back of my mind, there's a lot of fish here, and. When I was here last year, the same time, I, I sacked almost 18 pounds, and I'm like, man, I could, I could do it. It could happen. So I, I had no idea 100% sure because I didn't practice. I just went. And, you know, I, I caught most of my fish on a Berkeley hollow belly, a four-inch sexy shad uh, with a Berkeley, you know, swim, swim bait uh, head and hook. It, it, it done it today, man. I caught a 410 smallmouth. I mean, I was, that's all. I didn't know they lived that big up there. But I got her today, boy. You know, let's talk about it uh, uh, mentally and physically, where you were at, boat control, all that. You've got to be pretty tired of, of just keeping that boat in the sweet spot. Uh, absolutely. And, uh, you know, that's one thing I like about the Gator Tracks. You know, it floats really shallow. I got the Garmin trolling motor, spot lock, and you know, it's a 36 volt trolling motor. You know, it's really strong in that current, and, you know, it's super shallow. So you got to maneuver through the rocks, and, and you don't want to tear anything up. You know, I bumped a few here and there, but that's what it takes. You got to get in there. You got to get it where they live. And, and a lot of people don't do that. A lot of people don't go the extra mile. They don't put in the extra work to, to, to find these places. And, and true, I mean, they, they can't really get there, but, but that's my style. That's what I do. That's what I look forward to. And, uh, yeah, but, man, it was, it was a journey each day, and uh, just happy to get it done. Your fish upgrades were like walking into a car dealer and go, yeah, I want power windows. Yes, I want the heated seats. It was a lot of upgrading throughout the day, and every time you jumped, you're like, wow, there it is. There it is again. Come on, bigger. 
Yeah, when I got there today, you know, it took me a little while, a little over an hour to get up there. And, um, you know, first period was okay. I caught, think, I think I caught three scoreables. And uh, the second period, man, they just turned on. They just fed. And, and that's what I was saying on live. You know, when you're fishing current, the fish kind of move in and move out. They, they just feed at certain times. They kind of group up and they go in and they feed. And so you, you just got to stay with them. You just got to keep casting, keep casting. And, and then you'll hit a stretch and boom, you'll catch a boom, 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 boom. And I just was lucky enough to get the right bites at the right time because, you know, I caught a four pounder, four plus pounder on a jig. If I don't catch that fish, I don't know if I win or not. I mean, that was my last big fish. And I'm like, man, I don't know where you come from, but baby, I love you. It was awesome. I boat flipped it, too. <laughs> Are you about ready to do this? Man, you have no idea. Well, this is the U.S. Air Force back, so please, a round of applause as we bring up two gentlemen to present the trophy, Sergeant Corbett and Sergeant Jones, to hand it off. And once they do, he's going to step forward. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the U.S. Air Force Stage 2 Jefferson County, presented by Power Pole Champion, Keith Pache! And the trophy's only part of the deal. Now here to present his $100,000 check. Please welcome to the stage tournament director, Daniel Fennell and Keith Fauché's family to join him. One more time for Keith Fauché. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to conclude the U.S. Air Force Stage 2 Jefferson County presented by PowerPole.